Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be over long division and it's going to be over introducing this concept using pictures. Now we're going to be using pictures of tens and ones and we're going to be introducing long division using area models. Now this video is accompanied with student note pages that are really helpful as you follow along. If you'd like to access the student note pages, please look in the description below and click on the link. Let's begin. Now, an area model is a picture representation of a division equation, and it shows how many groups and how many are in each group. Now, we're going to be using these manipulatives here, tens and ones, to represent division. Now, it's important for me to tell you that I did not come up with this amazing way to divide, but I was taught by another um, awesome teacher. But ever since she taught me, I have never stopped teaching that way and I'll never teach long division again without doing it this way because it's a really great picture representation of how to divide. Now the first equation that we're gonna be working on is 92 divided by four. Okay, could I figure this out just by skip counting by fours? Yeah, I probably could, but you're gonna find that your numbers are going to get bigger and bigger and it's gonna be a lot harder to skip count. So you have to be able to divide using the standard algorithm. Now, let me tell you, I counted out the tens and the ones that I needed before I started this equation here. And I have eight tens and I have 12 ones. Now, 80 plus 12 is 92. And I'm going to be dividing 92 into four equal groups. And I will put my four groups here. Now, on the side here, I'm going to be doing my repeated subtraction because that's what long division is. You're subtracting over and over and over again until you get to zero, where you have nothing left, or until you get to a remainder. Okay, so let's start here with 92, and I'm gonna subtract my tens and my ones as I lay them out. So let's take my 92 here that I have in my tens and ones and I'm gonna divide out 10, 20, 30, and 40. Do I have 92 here anymore? No, I don't. I took out 40. So I'm gonna take 92 and I'm gonna subtract 40. How many am I left with here? I'm left with 52. So now let me divide out my 52 and I'll divide out my tens. Let me take another 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now I've taken out 40 more. Now do I have 52 in my pile here? No, I don't. I took out or subtracted 40. So let me subtract once again. And now I have 12 left over, and that's what you see here. Now we're going to divide out these 12, but we're gonna divide them by groups of four. So let's divide these out. One, two, three, and four. Do I still have 12? No, I don't. I took away four, now I have eight. Let me take out another four. One, two, three, Four. Do I have eight? No, I took out four more. So now I have four left over. And I have four in this group that I laid out and four in this group that I laid out. So here's my four more. I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out. One, two, three, four. Do I have four left over? No. I took out my last four and now I have zero, which is exactly what I wanted. I have no more left over here. And that makes me happy because I have no remainder and everything divided out evenly. So where is my answer in this mat here? Where's my answer? Well, let's look at our groups. In each group, I have the same number. I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23, 23 in each group. So my answer to 92 divided by four is 23. And that is how to divide using long division with an area model. Okay, now let's do another example this way. And again, I have counted out my ones and my tens. I have exactly 
the number that I need for this division. And in this equation, we're going to try dividing 72 divided by three. Okay, so I know that I have three groups that I'm going to divide that 72 in. And I have six tens, which is 60, and 12 ones, which is 72, okay? And I'm going to be subtracting 72, and I'm going to keep subtracting from 72 until I get to zero or a remainder. All right, now let me take my tens and divide those out. I have 72 in my pile. Here's 10, 20, 30, okay? I no longer have 72. I have divided out 30. 72 minus 30 is 42, and here is my first group of 30. Okay, can I divide out another 30? Yes, I can, I have it right here. So let's divide 10, 20, 30. Now, I no longer have 42 in my pile because I took out 30, so 42 minus 30 is 12 and I have 12 left over, okay? Now let me divide out this 12 and I'm gonna divide them out into groups of three and we're gonna keep subtracting over and over again until I get to zero. So I've got one, two, three. So I no longer have 12 because I've taken away three, I have nine. Let me take away another three. One, two, three. I no longer have nine, I have six, and I have taken a group of three here and a group of three here. Now I'm going to take out three more. Oopsie, everything's moving on me. One, two, three. I might cover up my subtraction just a bit, but you'll know what I'm doing. So I no longer have six, now I have three, and I'm gonna squeeze this into my paper. I have three more here at the bottom and I have my very last few here that I'm gonna divide out into my mat, and that is one, two, three. And I'm gonna label those here, group of three there, group of three there. So do I have three left over? No, I'm gonna squeeze this in because three minus three is zero. There's my zero way at the bottom. And I'm so happy because I divided and got to zero and I don't have a remainder. So where's my answer in 72 divided by three? It is in my groups. I have one, two, three groups, and let's read across my tens and ones. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 72 divided by three is 24, and you will find 24 in each group going across. Okay, here's my next example. I'm choosing to do a larger number, 108 divided by four, and I have my tens and my ones already prepared. I have eight tens here, and I have 28 ones, and I pulled those out um, before I started so that I would have exactly what I needed. All right, let's divide, and I'm going to be dividing, and I'm going to be subtracting over and over again until I get to zero or until I get to a remainder. Okay, so let me use my tens first and I'm gonna divide them out into groups of four. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, do I have 108 in my group anymore? No, I don't because I took out 40 and here's the 40 that I took out and 108 minus 40 is 68. All right, let's take out another four. So now I have 68 and I'll be subtracting 40 again, 10, 20, 30, 40. And here's the 40 that I just subtracted from my total. 68 minus 40 is 28 and that's how many I have left here, okay? So now I'm gonna be dividing out these ones into groups of four, and I'm gonna do it over and over and over again until I get to zero. One, two, three, four. 
I took out 4. 28 minus 4 is 24. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 24 minus 4 is 20. There's my next 4. Probably going to end up covering my subtraction. That's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 20 minus 4 is 16. Take out another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 16 minus 4 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. Once again, oops, 2, 3, 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Went all the way across. 4 minus 8 minus 4 is 4. I'm barely going to squeeze it in here. And I have 4 more over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 4. Oh, I'm going to squeeze it in is 0. I am so happy because I got to 0. I have no remainder. And everything has divided out evenly. So where's my answer? You have to read across. 10, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. My answer is 27. And in every single group, you're going to see 27, 27, 27, all the way down. Now, it's important to know when you're dividing this out like this, they need to go in a line straight across. Now, I know that mine are kind of zigzaggy here, but you're going to want your tens and ones to go straight across because if I squeezed all of this together I would make an area model with no spaces and if you end up putting your ten your ones or tens on top of each other like this that will not make an accurate area model because that's essentially what we're doing and our answer is 27 okay so let's do one more example and this one is 132 divided by 6 and I have divided out my tens and ones into the number I need I have 12 tens and I have 12 ones. And I will subtract here on the side. So let's divide out 132 and I'm going to start with my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now I no longer have 132 in my pile because I have taken out or subtracted 60. So when I have 132, and I take out 60, I have 72. Now, can I take out 60 more? Yes, I can, they're right here. So another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Now I no longer have 72 because I subtracted 60. 72 minus 60 is 12, and that's what I have here in my pile. So let me divide out 12, and I'll start by dividing out six ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, let me divide out six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
three. I want to spread those out. And I'm going to be using tens first until I can no longer use them. And we'll represent tens with simply a line like this, and we'll represent ones with a dot. Okay, just keep it simple. All right, so let's go ahead and start by using a set of tens. 10, 20, 30. Now, I started with 102, but I don't have 102 anymore because I took out 30. So let's subtract. And now I have 72. Now let's add another 30 here. 10, 20, 30. Now I no longer have 72 because I took away 30. Now I have 42. 10, 20, 30. I no longer have 42 because I'm taking away 30. Now I have 12. Now, since I have 12 left over, can I take away another 30 from 12? No, I can't because 12 is too small. So now is when I will use my ones. And I'll uh, subtract ones in sets of three. One, two, three. 12 minus three is nine. One, two, three. Nine minus three is six. Let's label my threes. One, two, three. Six minus three is three. And I have three left over. One, two, three. Three minus three is zero. And do you see your answer? Remember, you have to read across each group. My groups are equal in this division. I have zero left over, so no remainder. So I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And 102 divided by 3 is 34. Sometimes if it helps, you can just circle your answer like this so that you can clearly see it and point it out. Now, look at your next example here. We have 160 divided by 5. We want to show our repeated subtraction. And I want to have my five groups start like that. And we're going to start with tens. Can you start to guess how many groups of tens we can list here while we do our repeated subtraction? I'll start with 160, and I know I'm going to be taking away 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many groups of 50 can I take away from 160 before I have to start transitioning to using ones? You're gonna start catching on very quickly because you're gonna start understanding the division. So 160 minus 50 is 110. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What's 110 minus 50? Now I have 60. Can I take away another 50? Yes, I can. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60 minus 50 is 10. Now, can I take away another 50 if I only have 10 left over? No, I cannot. I'll start using my ones now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. So, you can see your answer here. 160 divided by 5. Here is my answer. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. And this is division using partial quotients, but you're the one who draws the tens and the ones. Okay, now this part of the video is going to be discussing how to do long division using partial quotients. And partial quotients means part of the answer in a division equation. All right, I have hundreds, tens, and ones here that I'm going to use so that we can talk about how to solve this way. And let's look at our notes. When you divide, you take a number and divide it into equal groups. When you divide, you want to continue dividing until you get to zero or a remainder. One strategy to divide is called partial quotients, and that's what we're going to talk about today. 
This division method uses hundreds, you can probably finish the sentence, tens, and ones to divide. All right, so let's look at some examples of partial quotients and how to divide this way. So I have 402 divided by three. Okay, so I'm going to look at this division like this. 402 divided by three. And when I divide using partial quotients, I take the end of this line and I drag it down like this because my partial quotients are going to be in this space right here. Now, in my blocks here, I have 402. Now, I'm going to use repeated subtraction, which is basically what division is, and I'm going to take away from what I have here, and I'm going to put this big number of 402 into three equal groups, which is what I want to do when I divide. All right, so in order to do this, I'm going to use hundreds, tens, and ones, and that's very important for you to know when you're using partial quotients. Okay, so let's start with 100. Can I take 100, and if I multiplied it by three, I would get 300. Can I take 300 from 402? Yes, I can. So here's my 300. I have 402, but now I'm gonna take away. 100, 200, 300. Let me move those groups a little closer together. Okay, so I had 402. I took a partial quotient of 100. 100 times three is 300. And now, out of my ones, my ones, excuse me, and tens, I have 102. And now I'm going to divide out 102 again using partial quotients. Now, I cannot use 100 again because 100 times three is 300, and I only have 102 left. So let's use tens. But you can use 10, 20, 30, 40. You can use any group of tens to do this. So let's use 30. And I'm choosing 30 because this number, 30 times three, I want it to get me close to the number I have left. And 30 times three is 90. Now, can I take away 90? Yes, I can. 30 times three is 90, 102 minus 90 is 12. Now I'm going to divide out my 102 and I'm going to put them here, 10, 20, 30, or excuse me, I'm gonna take my 90 and divide them here. So now in each group so far, I have 130 that I have taken out, but I still have this 12 left, okay? now. What number, I want to get close to 12, or I even want to, to make it to 12. What number times three gives me 12? Well, I know my threes, and I know that it's four. Four times three is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero, and that makes me happy because I have nothing left over, I have no remainder, and I can divide these ones out into three groups, and now I have my answer. Where is my answer? It's right here. 100 plus 30 plus four. These are my partial quotients, and these add up to my final quotient, my final answer of 134. Now let's look at our groups. I have 100, I have 30, I have four. 134 is my quotient. Okay, let's look at some other examples on paper. Now, I have 294 divided by 2, and I have it set up in my partial quotients format. And remember, I'm going to use hundreds, tens, and ones to do this type of division. Now, I'll start with hundreds, and I can see in my model that I can use 100 as a partial quotient. So, 100 times 2. It's 200. Can I subtract 200 from 294? Yes, I can. So I can use 100 as a partial quotient. When I subtract, I get 94. Okay, now I cannot use hundreds anymore, and I see that from my picture, but I can use tens. Well, what 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, which 10 can I use that if I multiplied it by two, I would get as close to 94 as I can? 
Well, if I use 40, 40 times 2 is 80. And 94 minus 80 is 14. Now, I have one more partial quotient that I can use here, and I know my 2's. So what number times 2 gives me 14? Well, that is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 14 is 0. Where is my answer? It's here. 147. These numbers here are my partial quotients. They're part of my answer, and they add up to my final answer of 147. Now, draw a box around each group. 147 is here and here. So you have two groups of 147. Now, here's the important part about partial quotients. There's not one way to solve. I've chosen to use 140 and 7, but you could have done 100, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 7. There's many ways to solve here. I'm choosing the way that is a little quicker, and I'm using the pictures I have to match my way, but there's many correct ways to solve here. There's not just one way. So keep that in mind when you're solving on your own. Now let's look at 496 divided by 4. Okay, my partial quotients are going to go here. Now, can I use 110 or 1 here? I can use 100, and I see that because I have a nice picture here. So 100 times 4 is 400. Can I do the subtraction? Yes, I can. That's why it works. And 496 minus 400 is 96. So now, can I use 10s? and I wanna get as close to 96 as I can, so something times four is gonna get me close to that number. Well, can I possibly do 20? 20 times four is 80, and 96 minus 80 is 16, and now I have 16 to subtract out and divide out. What number, what partial quotient times four gets me close to 16 or gets me to 16? It's four, because I know my fours. Four times four is 16. 16 minus 16 is zero. And here are my partial quotients. 124. So basically, you're using multiplication and subtraction to help figure out this division. Now, where are my equal groups? My answer is 124. And here, you see an equal group, and this represents your division that you just completed. Now remember, there is not one particular way to solve. I did this way and you only used three partial quotients, but there's many more ways you can solve this way and you can use other partial quotients. I just chose to use this one and that one worked, but there is not just one way. Remember in math, there may be many ways to solve the same problem. Okay, let's do our last few examples. 565 divided by 5. And remember, we'll use hundreds, tens, and ones to do this type of division. Now, can I take 100? 100 times 5 is 500. Can I subtract 500 from 565? Yes, I can. This number is not too big. So when I subtract that, I get 65. Now, what number can I use as a partial quotient, where if I multiply this by five, I get close to 65? Well, I'll stick with 10. 10 times five is 50. 65 minus 50 is 15, and I know my fives. What number times five would get me to 15 or close to 15? It's three. Three times five is 15. 15 minus 15 is zero. I'm happy because I have nothing left over. Here are my partial quotients. 110, 113 is my answer. And do you see your answer in your pictures? 113. 100, 10, and 3. And your answer is 113. Okay, last one, 
divide 387 by 3. Again, hundreds, tens, and ones. Can I use 100? I sure can. 100 times 3 is 300. 387 minus 300 is 87. Now, what number can I use where if I multiplied it by 3, I would get as close to 87 as possible? Let's use 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 87 minus 60 is 27. Oh, and now I know because I know my 3's. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 27 is 0. Here are my partial quotients. 100, 20, 9. And that is my final answer. I got to 0 with no remainder. And where is 129 in my picture? 100, 20, 9. And I have three equal groups of 129. I hope you found this video over long division helpful. If you'd like to see more helpful math videos, please like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos that are helpful just like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day.